My son was in Vegas. He came home. He didn't tell us a lot because it was hard for him to talk about it. He didn't come home on November 7th, so lightning does strike twice. Tell has a lot of friends that were there that night or that were not there that night that were also in Vegas. Some of them have come to our house. They're grieving. We listen to them talk about their escape plans when they went out with friends or where they were when the shooting happened or what they did. These are 20 odd year olds that should be talking about their new jobs, their travels, their boyfriends, their girlfriends, and they're talking about escape routes. As a mother and as a family member whose lives have been shattered and completely redirected in our lives by the death of our son, the murder of our son, I'm asking people, look in your child's face and look at mine. I hope to God you never have to do this. I truly don't, and that's why I'm standing here. I can't, I can't help my son anymore, but I have another one. I'm grateful that no more people died. We're grateful for that, and we're grateful that so many of his friends did get out, though I don't think there's an end in sight.